Good morning, uh, mga kasamang engineers no? in the field, or in practice. Uh, today, I would like to talk about how variable frequency drive saves energy. BFDs, inverters, drives, whatever you call it, are uh, used for process control primarily uh, to control the speed of the motor, to control the flow rate, to control the airflow for uh, heating, ventilating, air conditioning, uh, to control the process media uh, flowing in the pipeline no? in our process control. That is the main function of the BFD. It's easier, no? And uh, uh, also it's easier to start the motor. Then you can have a lot of uh, function for uh, uh, monitoring the alarms, high, press, high current, no? high voltage, low voltage. So it's a one-pack uh, control device for our electrical motor. But uh, I'm interested now how variable frequency drive saves energy. Uh, for uh, us, mechanical engineers, we are uh, very uh, knowledgeable in this field for uh, uh, energy savings of uh, BFD because this is in our fluid mechanics or hydraulics, even in universities. So this is one of the very important uh, laws that we have to apply in this lesson the flow rate, the head, and the power of the pumps, pans, and blowers. The flow rate, the ratio of the flow rate is equal to the ratio of the speed and the diameter of the pumps or pans. Even the head or the pressure is equivalent to the square root, or the square, sorry, rather, of the speed, n1 over n2. The power is also p1 over p2 is equal to the a uh, cube no, of uh, the speed and also the diameter, the ratio of the speed. So by this function, therefore, we can say that flow rate is uh, directly proportional to pump or pump speed. The breaker's power is directly proportional to the square of the pump or pump speed. And using BFD, at, uh, we, we, we go to a control, we call that demand regulator system, regulated system, it means we would like to, in pumping, we would like to have a constant pressure in our pumping system using BFD and uh, transmitters. We have to know also the speed is equivalent to N, 120 times the frequency divided by the number of poles. For three-phase motor is normally four. The number of pole, poles is four. Pump speed, therefore, is directly proportional to the frequency of motor. The motor power, or the brake power needed by the motor is can also be voltage times the current. No, current is the RMS current. B is the RMS voltage root mean square. The power factor and the square root of three, which is 1.73 divided by 1,000, to have a power of kilowatt. Now, I would like to show you how actually the BFD is uh, uh, saving energy by my next uh, uh, slide. Here, uh, in my, uh, in my next slide, I have here the software or simulator for touchscreen. I made a BFD and uh, operating a pump and it's now running, I can change the flow rate because we don't have uh, a uh, actual uh, pressure. So in this uh, lesson, we assume that pressure equals seven bar. It is being uh, monitored by the pressure transmitter and the signal by the pressure transmitter, which is four to 20 milliamps or three to 10 volts is going to the BFD and will the BFD will supply the necessary frequency to the pump. That is how it is done in practice. No? And therefore, our flow rate here is varying depending on the demand of the system. So assuming pressure is seven bar, maximum which is constant. The maximum frequency in the Philippines is 60 Hertz. The brake power maximum of the motor is 18 kilowatt and maximum pressure seven bar. We have maximum press flow rate of 1,442 liters per minute. So if I'm going to adjust the flow rate, by 
You see on my left, then you don't have energy savings. Actually, if you have 100% running, you are using 18 kilowatt power of the motor, to the motor. So if I'm going to adjust the demand, which is the demand maybe you adjust it by 50% only, 50%. You can see you have a 30 hertz frequency supplied to the motor by the BFD. You have a 771 liters per minute. It means the, the flow rate uh, changes and you are actually using 2.25 kilowatt of the 18 kilowatt power. And then you have an energy saving of 87.50%. This can be uh, uh, put in an HMI, a human machine interface, to, to see actually what's the real time savings while running. And you can compute this by uh, up, uh, actually multiplying the cost of the power. So if I reduce by one third, maybe 30% flow rate, is the demand you are actually have a saving of energy savings of 97.3 percent and your power is only 0.49 kilowatt if i have a 75 percent demand then you are actually using 18.45 hertz 7.59 kilowatt 156.50 liters per minute and actually you have an energy saving of 57.81%. This is how uh, energy saving is used in BFD application.